Okay, welcome back. Uh, what we're going to be doing uh, right now is just basically setting up a, a simple um, a layer mask. Very easy to do, and layer masks can be applied to anything. We're going to use uh, the shape layer just because it's there and available and, and it's easy to do, and we're uh, making buttons in the moment for navigation, so it's just a nice review. So first what I want to do is I'm going to go to my pen tool, get my pen tool selected, and you'll see all this stuff runs along top, your, your menu bar up here. Uh, I want to make sure this guy is selected. This is my shape layers. So this little guy has to be selected. The pen tool, of course, has to be turned on. And I'm just going to draw a shape, you know, my shape layer. I'm going to go down to the canvas. Just going to draw a simple shape like so. And of course, it fills with white. Why? Because my default is set to white here, my foreground color. If I want to change it, I can double click on it. I'm going to change it to red because that's what we've been using all the way through for these examples. I've got to keep it consistent. And pretty much all we want to do here is uh, if I want to want uh, add a layer mask, I'm just going to select the shape or the, the layer I want. It doesn't have to be a shape layer. I'm going to go down to this guy right here and click on it. And that little guy there, add layer mask. Well, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to click on it. Pow. There's my layer mask. And now I can do whatever I want. I can go to my gradient tool and I can add a gradient to it if I want. I can go to my brush tool and I can paint this away I can I've got black right now black paints erases and white adds so I can do all kinds of wonderful effects to this I can load up my brushes here's all my brushes here the brushes you can find anywhere online they're fabulous for example I've got stamp brushes I'm gonna pop that in pop in a stamp there and you can see how uh, versatile uh, layer masks are so I can stamp that like so look at that I almost have and I can go in here and I can load up for example another stamp I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and I'm gonna go in say I want to let's see rotate it here so I'm gonna open up my brush uh, tip shape I'm gonna go in here and rotate it a little bit and then I'm gonna maybe adjust the opacity a little bit so it's a little bit less. Let's stamp it right there. Let's find a different stamp, for example. Oh, this one looks good. Eh, kind of cool. These are European stamps. I don't know where I got this, but I know I found them off of SmashingMagazine.com. Um, excellent, excellent place to go for stuff. And I'm going to rotate this a bit like so. Scoosh that in there. And maybe find another one here. Scoosh that there. Oh, fingerprint. Oh, look out. So now you see we got all these wonderful stamps and stuff. And these are just brush shapes. You can make your own brush shape, and we'll cover that later. Um, but anyway, that's how you make a, uh, a layer mask. And there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with it. Um, so there's my layer mask there. There's my shape layer. And of course, because it's a shape layer, I can change the color whenever I want. I cannot stress this enough. Shape layers are extremely important for flexibility and uh, workflow efficiency. Anyway, that's the end of that lesson. Have a good one.